Hey, what's going on, you young whippersnappers? Muzza Fuzza here, and today I'm bringing you some old gameplay on the PS3. All you young whippersnappers with your next-gen consoles, your Xbox Ones, and your PS4s, get off my lawn! Back in my day, we had to walk uphill both ways just to get a Call of Duty gameplay. All right, I gotta be done with that voice or else I might actually have a heart attack and then I would be like, <laughs> karma's a bitch. Well, what's up guys? Muzza Fuzza here and this is some Black Ops 1. As you can see, this is Firing Range, not to be confused with Studio, the, the remake on Black Ops 2. This is actually some Black Ops 1. I'm using the AUG. I've got the reticle with the Treyarch logo because my love for Treyarch goes way back, all the way back to uh, World at War, when that game first came out, I mean, that was really my original Call of Duty experience, COD 4 and World at War. Those are, those are my babies. Those are my favorite games to this day in the Call of Duty series. I don't know something about it, but I do love the Black Ops games as well. Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, I still hold very deeply in my heart. I love these games, and I still go back and play them from time to time. So I thought I would give you guys a little throwback gameplay, because I get some beastie kill streaks in this game. It is a, it is a pretty good gameplay. Uh, with a solid score, but what I want to talk about is the future of Black Ops because at this point We know that Advanced Warfare is coming out here pretty soon That's gonna be the next game in the Call of Duty series and it's gonna be the first one to really utilize next-gen consoles uh, The PS4 and the Xbox one, but that means that it's probably already mostly done as far as development goes I think the game is probably mostly built. I'm sure they have all the maps done uh, all the guns and stuff, and they're just f probably doing finishing touches on the game and, and tweaking things. Um, but my guess is that Black Ops 3 is probably somewhere in the making. I'm guessing that they're working on Black Ops 3 right now. If not Black Ops 3, then whatever comes next for Treyarch. But we know that after Advanced Warfare, it will be a Treyarch game uh, coming out in 2015. And I'm guessing that it'll be Black Ops 3. I don't know why they wouldn't make Black Ops 3. Black Ops 1 and 2 were both super duper successful. I'm talking multi-million dollar, maybe even billion. I think, yeah, Black Ops 2, I think, made more than a billion dollars. Um, and video game releases are a lot bigger than even music, uh, books, and movie releases. Like, video games are just as big, if not bigger, than any other type of media you can think of. And just like that, I got my puppies. Thank you, PlayStation Nation, for having a lot more noobs than Xbox. I'm just talking from experience, just my own personal experience. The PlayStation Nation is more like the PlayStation Noob Nation. So if Black Ops 3 is currently under development, and it may or may not be, I cannot confirm or deny whether or not Black Ops 3 is even a thing. I'm sure that's highly confidential information, and I could be hung or burned at the stake or something like that just for talking about this. So this is all just alleged information. This is all just speculation. I have no idea whether or not this is even a real thing. But judging by the past and just judging by the way things are going and the success of the previous Black Ops games, I would bet my bottom dollar, I would hedge my bets to say that Black Ops 3 is probably coming up. And with next-gen technology, with these next-gen consoles, comes next-gen capabilities. And I'm not just talking about better graphics. Graphics don't really mean as much as the actual gameplay. I'm talking about bigger and better game types. Um, Ground War could go from 9v9 to like 12v12 or 15v15, which would make a whole bunch of new possibilities when it comes to clips and gameplays. And it would just lead to better montages and, and just a lot more chaos in general. And the more chaotic the Call of Duty experience, the better, in my opinion. I'm just, I'm just a big fan of just lots of enemies everywhere. and uh, That'll lead to bigger and better kill feeds and just cooler stuff happening. But let's not forget that sometimes Call of Duty takes steps in the wrong direction and they do make mistakes. No developer is perfect. It's not like they're just going to churn out a perfect Call of Duty game. Even Advanced Warfare could, could mess some things up with these exoskeletons and all these new features. Uh, new features aren't always necessarily a good thing. And a lot of people feel like with, uh, look back from Call of Duty 2 to Call of Duty 3, a lot of people thought Call of Duty 2 was a way better game. I would probably agree. And then you go from COD 4 to World at War. A lot of people kind of had like a backlash and went back to COD 4 and didn't even play World at War. The same thing happened with Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. And the exact same thing happened going from Black Ops 2 to Call of Duty Ghosts. I think a whole lot more people are playing Black Ops 2 right now because they just feel like it's a better game and a more enjoyable experience. And the same thing could happen going into Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3. So uh, it pays to be skeptical. It pays to, to question everything and not just blindly be like, yeah, the new one's going to be the good one. I think a lot of people get nostalgic once the new game comes out and they go back and say, the old one is better. 
but really it just comes down to like what you enjoy playing the most. And if I had to pick my favorite Call of Duty experience so far with the, what, like 9 or 10 games that they've came out with so far, I would probably say that it's still Call of Duty 4 and Black Ops 2, followed closely by uh, World at War, Black Ops 1, and probably by Modern Warfare 2, uh, before the one-man army noob tubing thing got totally out of hand. At the end of the day, I just hope that Call of Duty keeps taking steps in the right direction and doesn't just try to please everybody. Um, because if they actually listen to the, the online community, the hardcore players, the people that are on YouTube and the people that play their game non-stop, they're going to make better decisions and they're going to make a better game overall. And there's been a bunch of times where they haven't listened to the community at all. I mean, COD 4 and World at War are still hacked to shit. Like, the game is just hacked on a lot of the servers and they just don't really care because it's an old game at this point they're not making any money off of it so why would they pay to keep up the servers and take care of the community even though there's still a thriving community playing those old games it just pisses me off and as much as i like playing the campaign and i do like killing zombies neither of those modes have shit on the multiplayer experience the multiplayer experience is always going to be the bread and butter of any call of duty game that comes out and i feel like that's where they need to take the most care and listen to the community the most so that's it feel free to let me know what you guys think about the future of black ops and the future of call of duty in general in the comments down below or even better you can hit me up on twitter or facebook i read those a lot more than i read my youtube comments so if you want to let your voice be heard or let me know what you guys think just hit me up on twitter send me a tweet or even message me or leave a comment on my facebook page i'll have the links down below in the description as we move closer and closer to Advanced Warfare coming out, and then even further down the line as we see what the next Call of Duty game is going to be and what uh, Infinity Ward and Treyarch are going to do in the years to come, going back and forth between making the Call of Duty games, I'll keep making videos like this, just speculating and giving my thoughts and feelings and opinions and ideas on what's going on. But uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Muzzafuzz. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay too. I got some more uh, Black Ops 1 throwback. If you guys want to see some Black Ops 1, I've still got some gameplays for you. So hopefully you enjoyed that. But that's it. Final score was 33 and 3. I shit on these kids because I'm sponsored by Huggies. Please check out all my links down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and blah, 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 blah. You guys know the deal by now. I've also got a whole bunch of sponsors. You guys can check out the links and get some good deals on all sorts of good services and products and blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. This has been Muzzafuzza, and I will see you guys next time.